Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Looking at the television commercials, television shows, and movies these days, you would think that so-called black men are only looking for a so-called white woman or any woman except a sister. But that is far from the truth. In this video, we are going to talk about the propaganda and the role that the media is playing in our life. So let's talk about it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share the video. It's free. The media has a big part to play in the way we as black people are portrayed. Some black men in the media who are celebrities or in sports tend to have a so-called white woman as their girlfriend or wife. And the media wants us to think that black men don't want black women and they are really trying their hardest to sabotage our minds. Black men still want black women and black women still want black men. According to the U.S. Census Current Population Survey, the percentage of black men and black women who are married to each other did decrease since 2000. For black men, it decreased by 7 percentage points from 92% in 2000 to 85% in 2021. And for black women, it decreased 4 percentage points from 97% in 2000 to 93% in 2021. However, both have been pretty steady for the last five years. But the media does a lot to make us think otherwise. Now that the commercials and movies have so many interracial couples in our face constantly, it will be interesting to see how these percentages will change as more of Gen Z grow older and decide to tie the knot. And these changing and more turbulent cultural, economic, and media interracial driven times. Throughout history, the media has also been influential in persuading people's opinions on different topics by circulating information that is fashioned to show the beliefs of one group. In the United States, corporations dominate the media. These elite groups influence publications, advertisements, and present information that best supports their interests. The media is a significant tool in projecting mass amounts of information and shaping people's opinion about certain topics within the United States and globally. However, due to the overwhelming influence by corporations and the American government, the media has transitioned into a phase where the news that is being reported and projected to the public is altered to fit the agenda or attitudes of those running that particular media outlet. The powers that be are trying their best to white our people out. If you are paying attention, you should notice that black people can't have a position with power in this wicked world unless they have a white spouse. It puts me in mind of the movie Total Recall, how they had his wife as their spy watching his every move, making sure that he stays in line and does things according to their plan. We have been set apart as holy to the Most High, our Creator, and He has chosen us from all the nations of the earth to be His own special treasure. The Most High said that we are not to give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast our pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. The media makes black women and black men feel underappreciated, unwarranted towards each other. The media makes black women out to be too aggressive and no longer patient in waiting on the pursuit of a man. It makes black women as strong-headed and independent, which presents great challenges in relationships, especially for a man that understands that he is the head of his home. The media makes black women as masculine and controlling in every situation. The media has black women expecting too much in their relationships, and that our women have to be gold diggers and should not look twice at a blue-collar black man. The media shows black women as hot-headed with bad attitudes. The media shows black women with the appearance of clowns and thoughts. The media has black women as sexually open and whorish. The media shows shows our women as resentful, loose-lipped, bitter and angry women, but are happy to be living single without a man. The media shows black women's tolerance as far too low and that they are no longer empathetic to the black man's struggle. The media shows black women as not caring or catering to their men. The media puts out negative connotation in their entertainment, showing black men as weak and effeminate. The media shows black men as drug dealers and that they don't take care of their families. The media shows black men as criminals and thugs. The media says black men are lazy and don't want to be responsible or held accountable for their lives, their children and their families. The media shows all types of dynamics to prevent our people from obtaining and maintaining relationships with each other. They have been dividing and conquering our minds with television programs, movies and music. A direct result of the racism, oppression, and systematic discrimination black men and black women face daily. In everything from employment to education, black men are constantly being told they can't measure up. I watched a black woman in a YouTube clip speaking about how black men are only looking for white women. 
This is what they want our people to think. This is what they want our people to believe and this is what they want our people to do. We are in the last days and this is just another way that they think will help them hang on to their power. Another way to keep our people in sin. Disobeying the Father's laws, statues and commandments they are using the media against our people with this trick around the world. This is not just happening here in the States. They have these type of commercials, TV shows and movies everywhere our people are around the world. The Sunday Times reported that Britain has the highest rate of interracial relationships in the world, and it's been reported elsewhere that by 2024, the mixed-race population is expected to become Britain's largest ethnic minority group with the highest growth rate. According to the 2021 UK census, black British males were around 50% more likely than black females to marry outside of their race. Two-thirds of our people will be destroyed. Are these interracial couples a part of the two-thirds that the Most High is speaking of? The media has set standards for most people in their life and relationships. And if you have shaped your life around a movie or TV character or someone in the entertainment business, you are creating big problems in your life. We as a people have lost a lot of our standards because of the media. If you keep looking at these TV and movie characters as role models, you will find yourself lost in this world doing anything, saying anything, and looking silly. We give up our power when we follow the ways of our enemies. We can no longer look at the media as just entertainment. You have to understand that they have an agenda. Some of us have become very good at imitating what we see in the media. We can no longer allow the television to teach our children their wicked ways. How do we get to solve the problem is by understanding that the media is not our friend. So many black men and black women are victims of the media from incarceration or dead at a young age. The media has caused a serious problem in the black community. The media has never shown our people in a positive light, and we need to face this fact. In order to understand what you are looking at, the media is used as a tool to destroy our people. As so-called black people, we have to come to terms with the fact that any of our people that have joined with our enemies on the television that are in the movie business and a part of this government are pretty much our enemy too. It reminds me of the first Maccabee when he had left speaking these words, there came one of the Jews in the sight of all to sacrifice on the altar which was at Madden, according to the king's commandment. Which thing when Matathias saw, he was inflamed with zeal, and his reins trembled. Neither could he forbear to show his anger according to judgment, wherefore he ran and slew him upon the altar. Matathias Maccabees killed another Jew because he wanted and did join our enemies. Black people need to be aware of the power of the media. People remember the negative comments that are made about us and they are branded on their brain. The media is used to shape our thoughts and desires. It is full of propaganda. Don't let it brainwash you. Women who revel in their femininity, it makes a man feel totally masculine. It's like two halves of a whole. One flows into the other just like the light into the darkness. Black men frequently complain that black women don't relish in their femininity as much as they'd like. Black men don't mean women should act fragile, weak and helpless every time they're around a man. The women black men say they find so appealing are those who celebrate the differences in the sexes. Women who aren't embarrassed or defiant about being women but instead delight in it. Women who make men feel needed. One young brother stated, I have the sense that if a woman doesn't need me, then I'm somehow not a man. On the other hand, a woman who makes me feel she depends on me, even if she doesn't, is the ultimate turn on. It validates my manhood. Malcolm X said that the media is the most powerful entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent guilty and to make the guilty innocent, and that's power. Because they control the minds of the masses. So I hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.